Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. Is input key down? Let's run through our example and hit play. We'll notice an error at the top left that says false. And when I push literally any of my keys, because I have it set to look for any key, it includes my mouse, it's going to tell me true. So let's look at this node. Let me pull up my example here and I actually have a bunch of things to go over. So the is input key down node is pretty simple. If we type in input key down, well, we're not going to find anything. If we look here, target is the player controller, uncheck context sensitivity, and we can find it right here is input key down. So that's something to note. It needs a player controller to run off of. Now that's actually important for this next part. This is going to use the normal input uh, flow. Then we go under project settings and we go into input. You have your keys here that we have input mapping set to. But all input goes through the player controller. It's the way it flows. And that's important to note. If you disable input or you remove the input input from the player controller, such as setting the UI input mode, it's going to cause problems with this. And let's look at that. The node itself is pretty simple. It takes our target of the player controller. So we plug that in and there you go. Now you can check and see if the input key is down for this player controller. For my example, I'm running this on a tick, and I'm just checking to see if it is down. And it's usually good to run it on an event, maybe check for input, do input, do something based on the input. In this case, it's any key, but I could easily change this to the I key, if I can find it. When we hit play, I hit keys on my keyboard. As you can see, nothing's happening. I hit the I key. It's going to tell me true. It's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and hook up our event construct nodes. Let's hook up this one down here to disable input. This is targeting an actor and it's disabling the input on the actor. And we'll hit play. Now I move around and nothing's happening. I don't have jump, I don't have movement. But if I hit the I key, well it's still working. The player controller is still accepting input. The disable input node basically removes these options here, our input settings, our action and axis, from firing. It's not going to work. The events, if we were to look at our player controller itself, are going to show nothing. Nothing's waiting. It's not ticking waiting for that input to fire. However, keys are still working. So for example, I went in here and I did, I, let's see, any key again, and we fired off. Spacebar doesn't jump, and my arrow keys don't move. But all my input is still being passed through to this node because the player controller is still connected. It's listening, it's just not doing anything. However, there is this node, the set input mode UI only. When you set it to the UI only, it disables input to the player controller basically. It gets this player controller, it sets input mode to UI only. That means basically your mouse, your, your key, your gamepad. Keyboard input is, is dead. We hit play, and you'll notice now I'm pushing keys. Nothing's happening. My character can't move because I've made the input only go to the UI. And this node down here is no longer firing because my player controller is simply removed from the input stack. It is no longer looking for input. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're using this node, you need to make sure that input still goes to the game itself. You can use, for example, the input mode game and UI only. That'll allow you to click on your UI elements and still get input into your stack. If you notice here, I can go ahead and still have input. And if I had the mouse enabled, we would see the mouse working. So that is going to wrap up our is input key down. Takes in a player controller for the target. Any key is what it's going to look for, and it returns back true or false. Remember, you need to have valid input going through your player controller for this to work.